Hi students, good evening and um, welcome to my channel Tech Tutorials 2K21 and today we are going to see how we are going to uh, apply for APSCHE internships. So for that, uh, uh, go to Google and here we have to see APSCHE LMS. So you just... Uh, now you can see here uh, APSCHE LMS e Pragati portal. So you just click on this option. So now you can see the portal is open here and you just uh, close this and here you have two options like login and sign up. So actually we cannot sign up directly uh, any of the student and students can uh, get registered with uh, college only. So after college will register you uh, in this portal. So from university and you get an opportunity uh, to do an internships in this APS CHC. So here, uh, every student is having some uh, login credentials, like you have your uh, user name and password. So here we have, so your username is nothing but the email ID uh, or uh, an office ID, uh, what you are used at the time of sign up. And then everybody is having their own uh, password. So you have to enter username and password along with this CAPTCHA. So, and after that, you have to submit uh, by using this button, then it is going to uh, give you uh, your login screen. So here I'm going to apply uh, one student credential because uh, if you logged as a student, then only you get an internship. Uh, details you are finding from that. So here I'm using one student credentials like uh, So here uh, the CAPTCHA is given for you. Now you have to enter this CAPTCHA. Like uh, here it is G, F, H and A, double six. So after this, you just click on the submit button. So now you can see uh, after you successfully log in, you can find out the screen uh, and your profile and everything is here. And if you want to change your password, you can do the here. And then you can see your uh, profile. Then you can click on this edit profile option. So in this page, you can see like uh, some filters. So we can say these are some filters and you can search for your uh, history. Like uh, previously you did some internships or uh, whatever it will be. And you can view that history by this. And here uh, on this corner, you can see like uh, industry connect. So you just click on this industry connect. So now it is going to open another page. So here you can see like we have uh, different uh, filters, like you have to select a type. So like it will be a global or local opportunity and uh, it will be um, like a virtual, like uh, means uh, we have different type of internships here. Like you can have a global virtual internships and local physical and global physical and local virtual. So online or offline, both is available for this. And you have to do at your local or else you want to go out uh, of your city and you want to do your internship. And depends on that, you can select your filters here. And after that, here you have uh, the states, uh, sorry, districts, here we have, and then here we have Mandal. So uh, you can find out here, see, for example, if I choose uh, Vishakapatnam, so uh, then only I can see the Mandals which is available in this Vishakapatnam, okay? So without this option, this option is not going to pop anything. And after that, uh, you want to select the category, like you have many of the categories given 
here like uh, pharmaceutical, medical or transportation, travel, insurance, education or teaching or engineering. Like here we have a many options are given here. You can choose a, uh, the category here. For engineering students, you go with an engineering option and then uh, give you a qualification. Depends on your qualification, you want to search for an, any internship and you can use this filter and give your uh, qualification here for engineering. Uh, for that here, I'm choosing BTEC. And then uh, the roles are given for you, like uh, accountant and developers and what kind of developer you are. And uh, you can choose any of this, depends on your interest. Suppose here, I'm going to choose a front-end web developer. So I can choose this. And um, for internship, we have a different kind of internships are available like paid internships and unpaid internships. So sometimes uh, uh, depends on your skills and everything, uh, the startup companies will give you an opportunity. Um, uh, means uh, you work with those uh, startup companies and you can uh, uh, paid, right? Uh, means you can get some income, uh, depends on your work. So uh, for that pay you want to select, you can choose these filters. Okay, and after that, you can uh, choose your skill also, like what kind of skill you have, like what kind of programming you know. And um, you can choose this. Uh, suppose uh, here I'm choosing like Python. Okay, and uh, here it is a column of experiences. Suppose uh, here you are a student, now you don't have any experience. So don't go with this option or else uh, uh, if you have some uh, previous internship experience and everything, then here you can uh, add your experience. So like in uh, uh, minimum uh, how much experience you have and a maximum how much experience you have. And here you have an option like find opportunity. You just click on this. So once you click on this find opportunity and you can see of many uh, uh, like uh, different internship you can find here. Depends on your filtering. You, because we are using some filters here, right? So depends on that, you can find. See here, here I'm using fr uh, front-end web developer. So now I'm getting uh, like front-end web, web developer uh, internship. So uh, it's given you uh, some internships and every internship will give you some uh, uh, description, like uh, what kind of internship it is, right? Uh, so where the location, and uh, how much experience uh, they expected and how much salary or how much money they want to pay and uh, the category, uh, like we are choosing type, type here, right? Uh, global virtual. So uh, like that he, here we have and here we are finding, I think so uh, like uh, 3065 uh, is a code for this. And then uh, yeah, BTEC uh, they required and uh, they will ask for some skills like the critical thinking and basics in op uh, operating systems and basics in networks and basic computer skills it required. So in order to apply this particular internship and these are the skills they required. And after that, and sometimes they will, uh, means if it is a paid internship, now you can see uh, the paid internship is nothing but we have to pay some amount and uh, uh, Depends on that, we are getting this kind of an internship. So here it is given an option like see uh, the cost of this internship is provided as 1250. Uh, and this is provided by your APS uh, CHE. And we have some coupon. They may provide this coupon with 32% of discount. And after that, you can get uh, this particular internship for 850 rupees. And then uh, here it is given some description about this uh, internship. Like you can see what kind it is and then uh, what is this internship title and uh, who is that industry partner. And then uh, description of this thing, like how much, how many uh, hours they are going to uh, give an internship. Uh, and that every description is given here. And uh, the skills also means after uh, end of this virtual uh, internship and what are the things you are going to learn. So these are the things you are going to learn with this particular internship. So in like this way, uh, some of them, they will ask some uh, pre-requirements for that internship and you go with this, uh, this particular description about each and every, uh, what we can say like uh, uh, each and every internship, uh, what we are finding. 
and uh, depends on that if you are interested with any of particular internship you just go with this view option so by this view option uh, you can have an option like apply right here you can see at the bottom of your uh, uh, particular thing you are finding that apply option and you just click on this apply option so here it is going to uh, give you an information like uh, means uh, here we need to attach your resume which consisting of all your skills and everything and as of my suggestion is uh, uh, if you are particularly selected for a particular internship depends on that you may change your uh, resume right uh, and you can prepare your resume before you're going to apply for this internship and that will be the must and after that uh, by using this attachment option so like you're going to uh, I mean select uh, your resume okay so uh, by this window you can select your resume and after that also you want to save your resume then you can see with view resume means it is going to show you like uh, uh, which resume you attached and here these are the things we provided uh, at the beginning and uh, here you can have a submit button you just click on this submit button so in this way you can apply for any of the internships so before you are going to apply the internship be carefully read the descriptions and choose a best uh, internship from the given available list right and you're and depends on your interest, you're going to apply for that. And you can see, uh, like at the beginning of the page here, I'm choosing some options. So even you are not interested to filter your data, you want to see everything what is available in this portal, like uh, then you don't give any of these filters, right? You just click on uh, search button. Okay, then it is going to give you uh, like every opportunity. Here you can see the find opportunity button is there, right? So here I'm not applying any filters. So now it will show you like all the internships which is available in this APS CHE portal. So I hope you all can understand. So still, if you have any doubts regarding this, you just uh, message me. Definitely I will uh, clarify your doubts. Okay, thank you. And all the best.